Hi everybody, welcome back to Blazing Blooms, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of shrub transplanting. We've got a few shrubs here around the foundation and uh, off into some of the beds that are not really doing so good. They're getting a little bit too much sun and then not enough sun. So we're going to adjust that, put them in some uh, bigger, some different holes, and, and plant them around in the other beds. And hopefully they perform a lot better this year. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, here we are at our first shrub. This is a uh, golden ticket privet. Uh, it's deciduous, so it's asleep right now. It's the best time to move it. Uh, the problem, the reason why I want to move this is in the summer, late summers, the the, the west sun tends to really scorch out the leaves. So we're going to move it on the east side of the foundation so it doesn't get past, doesn't get the hottest part of the day. And hopefully it does a lot better than six growing season. What we're going to do first is we're going to we're going to pull this mulch back and then we're going to trench around the outside of it and then get dig underneath the, the roots um, and get as get as large of a root ball out of it as we can. Uh, that way it gives it its best best chance in the next hole. So uh, let's go ahead and get to work. So now the mulch out of the way, we're going to go ahead and make us a trench that we're going to go with. And I try to basically do this by the drip line. So that's where I'll, I'll just kind of trench around from the drip line of that, what's currently there. You got to be careful if you have any uh, actual drip line, like I've got drip line here. So I've got to watch out for that drip line. When I talk about drip line, I mean the drip line of the, the shrub. So the, the farthest branch is out, that's where I'm going to make my cut. Now that I've got my, I've got, I should be able to dig this out very, pretty easily. Be careful with the drip line. Once you've got your trench around, you start sending the shovel underneath and you start basically freeing it from the bottom, from its anchoring roots underneath. Okay, so because so much of the substrate here is, is so sandy, I'm gonna use this bucket here to place it into the bucket and transport it uh, around to the, to the other hole. That way I don't uh, lose a lot of the, the, the material there that's in the root ball. Uh, it wouldn't really matter, you can, uh, as long as, you know, you don't wanna rip your roots off essentially because there's gonna be a lot of weight just kinda of everywhere. So you wanna be as gentle as possible moving it around. All right, so let's see if we can get, get it in here.
the hole dug, and uh, so I'm just gonna make sure it's the right depth. Then we're just gonna cover it up. Um, I'm not gonna worry about any sort of fertilizer or anything like that. This this bed's got plenty of fertilizer. This mulch has been breaking down. The soil is absolutely great to uh, to, to dig in, to, to grow in. It's got lots of lots of nutrients. So uh, yeah, let's get it dropped in there, and then we'll uh, hopefully it does good. We'll cross our fingers and hope that it hope that it, the stress wasn't too much. I'll put a little bit of water in there just to make sure to get the air out. Um, not too much water. Again, it's the winter time, so if a freeze comes up, I don't want this to, to affect it too much. And also, you know, not really the freeze. The problem is, is the water won't evaporate out, like won't be able to exit the ground in time. It's already pretty wet, and uh, it'll just cause uh, anaerobic conditions. We don't have long until the first frost, March 21st, first frost. So, that was the last frost, I should say. Last frost is on March 21st, and then. Uh, be good. All right, here I am in our Jane Magnolia. This is another one that I kind of planted here. I planted this one here just as a placeholder, really, until I figure out where I wanted to put it. So now that we've got the, the garden more laid out to exactly what it's going to be, I know uh, I know where I, where, where I want to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the mulch pulled back, and again, we're going to dig around it. Uh, I'm going to trench it out and start as, long, as, as wide as the drip line is, and then we're going to see exactly how, how far we got to go. This hasn't been here very long, so I don't expect it to ha have so many roots. It's been here less than a year, or maybe right at a year, but uh, nowhere near long enough to really establish a root system. So uh, it should be pretty simple, but we'll see. How great that soil looks. Look how awesome that soil looks. Let's see that. That's crazy. We did that, you know, just from covering it with mulch and made it look that good over just over years. It was hard red clay before then. All right, so I was mistaken. This tree has actually been in here not one season, not one year, but nearly two years. So the roots have established themselves quite well, and it was it was quite the chore to get it uh, removed out of here. I mean, I just uh, at one at some point, I was, one point I was thinking this might not even happen, but uh, I just kept at it. I kept digging my trench around uh, deeper and deeper until I felt that I had gotten to the point that I could get underneath it and uh, start freeing the anchor roots and uh, not uh, not take too many of those surface roots so um, I just kept at it and at it it took me took me over an hour to to, to remove this um, it was very heavy uh, 
when you're do when you're removing a sh um, something this large and you know in the, the first that little shrub I used a little bucket to move it and this one it's best to use like a, uh, a tarp or a blanket or something that you can you can drag it around you can stick it on top of there and you just kind of move it to wherever you're gonna be transplanting the shrub just makes it a bit easier so uh, just like a kind of a tip a little helpful tip there but uh, I, you just, you know, I had, I had to dig around a deep enough trench in order for me to shove the sho sh shove the shovel under from all sides to be able to get at least halfway in order to cut it free. And so I tried, and it was so heavy I had to end up going next door and getting my brother to to help me. And uh, so he came over to give me a hand, and we finally were able to to both uh, both get on it and and get it out of there. I was so tired after that after I got this done that. Uh, I had to, uh, I didn't end up filming the transplant. I just, I drug it over there and dropped it in place and buried it. I was too tired to, to even go move the camera. I just wanted it over with. So uh, I do regret not, not showing that, but it's it's as simple as any other shrub you put in the ground, guys. You just you just dig a hole big enough and, 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 and set it down in there and then cover it up. So this is me coming back and, and filling the crater that I just dug, I couldn't believe couldn't believe the size of this thing. Could have made a little pond out of that. But uh, anyway, I appreciate everybody for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe uh, to keep up with the channel. And we'll uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.